Hello there guys, welcome to Star Wars Comics, thank you for joining us and I always appreciate your feedback so feel free to leave any comments about this video or any other topic down below. For today's episode, we move past the dreadful Order 66 that nearly wiped out the Jedi. There were some survivors however, in fact they were the ones who nearly brought down one of the most powerful figures within the Empire, Darth Vader. Six months after the Jedi Purge began, eight Jedi survivors would agree to meet on the abandoned spice mines of Kessel. Five of them were masters and three were Jedi Knights, but all of them wanted one thing only, to bring down the Sith and their newly formed empire. What the Jedi didn't know however was that Master Shade had already laid the trap for Darth Vader. She through her contacts had learned that whenever Obi-Wan Kenobi is mentioned, this particular Sith would always appear. The other Jedi were shocked. They weren't anticipating for this to happen just yet, but it was already too late. The dark presence was felt by everyone. Lord Vader had already arrived. Nowhere to hide. Where is Obi-Wan Kenobi? Vader yelled in fury. Shade unveils to him the trap, but Vader wouldn't listen. And when a young Jedi rushed towards him, using force speed, he stabbed the Jedi while she was still running. Now the rest had no choice. They all rushed towards Vader. It was all or nothing at this point. After killing his second Jedi, another one hit him in the back. And after realizing he couldn't just kill them all at once, he jumped above a platform. But Shade wasn't about to let him escape his fate so easily. Using a Kortosis blade, she slashed at him and suddenly the lightsaber shorted. Now this was due to the Kortosis material which is resistant to plasma energy and would in fact short circuit a lightsaber. This was her chance. Shade jumped at the chance to kill an unarmed Vader but the Sith immediately grabbed and snapped her neck taking her blade in the process. Now, Vader used Cortosis to his advantage. He continued disabling most of the Jedi lightsabers, however he didn't anticipate the small and skillful Master Choi, who sliced his arm that was holding the blade and Swan injured his left leg. Vader was practically done. He couldn't move or fight at this point and in order to survive till the next move, he told the Jedi that he surrenders, knowing full well the way of the Jedi, that they wouldn't dare to kill someone who is literally unarmed and surrendering. Koff, however, saw through the Sith trick and wouldn't take the bait. When Swan tried to stop him, he saw no other choice. He ignited his lightsaber and killed Swan just to get to Vader uninterrupted. He jumped at the chance to kill the Sith Lord, but Vader was smarter than that. He was waiting for his chance and now it came. Using the force, he lifted his own severed hand that was holding the Cortosis blade and used it to stab Kofi in the chest. You started with eight, now only three are left, Vader stated. He took Kofi's green lightsaber, prepared to fight with only one arm. But these were Jedi Masters. Composed and stoic, all three of them lifted objects around them and all of a sudden hurled anything that they could lift at Vader. With one rock hitting Vader square in the face, Vader was done. Barely functioning, he couldn't even talk at that point as the Jedi prepared to end him once and for all. All of a sudden, the 501st appears to the rescue. They open fire on the Jedi, killing two of them, and just as Master Choi was about to confront them, suddenly he stopped mid-jump. It was Vader. He used the force to stop him mid-air and ordered the clones to kill him. Just before his death, Choi hurled his lightsaber at Vader and hit his mask, injuring him as his last act. All of the Jedi were dead. Vader had done his part, although none of them was who he really hoped he would find his former master, Obi-Wan Kenobi. This was a great read and a great comic called Star Wars Purge and while it falls under Legends, it's definitely one of the great ones. However, what did you think about this issue? Let me know all of your thoughts down below in the comments, I would love to hear them. Thank you guys so much for watching again and lastly, may the Force be with you always.